Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Holy Grails video for you guys. It is my 2017 Holy Grails, but not only my Holy Grails, but my high-end and my drugstore Holy Grails. So for anyone out there that's on a budget, they can kind of have an idea of what is great that you can find at the drugstore. And for the people out there that want to splurge a little bit more on their makeup, that like high-end makeup, I can tell you what my Holy Grails are. So if you're interested in it, you can try them out for yourself. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and let's get to the video. All right, so I figured I would start with the base of my face. I'm just gonna talk about these products as I put them on my face, if that makes any sense. So start, I start off by putting moisturizer around my face and my high end product is my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. It's the gel, not the lotion. Um, I used to use a lotion all the time and it was my favorite until this product came out because I feel like it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. Sometimes when I put the lotion on my face, it sounds a little weird, um, it just feels kind of cakey and I don't like it. This one is very light, it's very lightweight and it's great for my dry skin, so I love it. And for my affordable moisturizer, that's going to be my Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisture for combination skin. I really like this and I used to like be indifferent about it but as I started using it more, I did notice that my skin didn't feel dry, it felt hydrated and I really like it. I did try the one with its SPF in it and I liked it a little bit more so I think I would suggest that more than this but it's a full bottle so I didn't want to throw it away and buy the SPF one. It is a really great option for a moisturizer at the drugstore. All right, now moving on to primer. As you can see, my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer is almost gone. So that's why I love it. I think that my makeup lasts above eight hours when I wear this primer and I feel like my foundation really sticks to my face when I have a base of my Clinique Moisturizer and my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is like my OG favorite. I love this stuff. So for my drugstore foundation primer, I don't have it because I used it all up. I should have like kept the empty um, container just to show you guys, but I wasn't thinking about it. Um, but I will list it down below. And it is my Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Redness Control Primer. Um, I had to look it up because I couldn't really remember what it was, but I know it was green. And that probably helped with the redness that I have on my face. And that's why I liked it a lot. And my face gets really red. Um, if when I take off all of my makeup, I have redness in my face and I feel like the Maybelline primer really helped with that. I'm having meaning to pick one up again. <laughs> all right, so after primer, I put on my foundation. So I'm gonna move on to foundation. My high-end foundation is a little bit tricky because my holy grail is two foundations mixed together and that's not really a holy grail because if, if it was my holy grail foundation, it'd be only one, right? But I'm gonna talk about it anyway. So my two foundations are my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and my Marc Jacobs Remarkable foundation. And I've said this before, this one's too dark for my skin, this one's too light. This one, I understand why it's too dark. I bought it when I had a spray tan and it matched my spray tan. This one, however, when the guy sold it to me, he said, if you're gonna tan anymore, you're not. it's not gonna um, be a color anymore. But I haven't tanned in three months, maybe. Um, I live in Florida and I haven't been to the beach in three months, which is really weird. But it's still too light for my skin. Like I'm, I'm really, Fair and it's still too light for my skin. So I just think that, sorry, Sephora man, but you color corrected, color matched me the wrong way. But what am I gonna do with the $60 foundation? And I've already used too much of it to return it. So I still have it. And I've been, I've been just been mixing this one with this one and creating my perfect foundation, in my opinion. I really do like the Makeup Forever foundation. I think that it, if I bought it, in my color, it would be my holy grail, but I don't know that yet. Weird that I actually do have a drugstore holy grail foundation in one. I don't have to mix it. I love it. I'm actually wearing it today. I love the finish. I love the wear. Um, 
The only thing is, is I, I do like the Remarkables foundations coverage more than I like the one I'm about to talk about. But for a drugstore foundation, this is great. It's great for my dry skin. I feel like it makes me kind of glow, glow a little bit. And I think that's why I like it so much. And that is the L'Oreal True Match foundation. I am the color C4 and I think it matches great on, in my skin. So that's why I recommend it. I love this stuff. I've already gone through like three bottles. All right, moving on to concealer. My holy grail concealer, me and everyone else out there. <laughs> um, I, actually, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people like this concealer and I haven't seen anyone say they don't like it. And I have dry skin and I like it. And I feel like the most people that I've, I've seen say that it's not their favorite have dry skin. I don't know what it is, but I love my Tarte Shape Tape, love it. I'm running out of it and it's making me sad because I'm gonna have to pick up another one and it's not cheap. But I am in the shade light and this is by far the best foundation that I've ever tried. To highlight, to contour, to spot conceal. Well, not really for to spot conceal because I don't really use it to spot conceal. But if I had something that matched my, my face better, I think that it would be a great spot concealer in my opinion, um, but I bought one for to highlight, specifically to highlight, and that's why it's not good to spot conceal because if I do, my where I spot conceal is gonna be lighter than my skin color. I wanted it lighter so I could highlight my under eyes. And for my favorite drugstore concealer, it is the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser Treatment Make Makeup. It says here that it is super concentrator and it has goji berry and collagen. And it has SPF 18, which is awesome. Um, and this is it. I've gone through quite a bit of it. it but it, I bought this for like, I think $11 at Walmart. Walmart, And it has lasted me so long. And it's a, gr it's a great concealer. The only downside of it, I think, is the applicator. I don't really like this applicator. I think it distributes too much product. Most of the time I have to like dig it out of there with a brush. But the formula of this stuff is awesome. Um, it really covers up my under eye bags. It really, it's a really great concealer from the drugstore. That's all I have to say. All right, moving on to brows. So I'm gonna talk about my high-end brow products first. And that is my ABH Brow Pomade. Um, I'm in the color taupe. And I just think that this makes doing my eyebrows so much easier than it used to with a pencil. When when I used to use a pencil, it kind of like made my eyebrows too harsh. But this is so buttery and so creamy and I, I love it. And since I have blonde eyebrows, I just, I just think that this makes it more defined. And I don't know, I reach for this every day. So that's why it's my holy grail. So before I bought my ABH brow pomade, I used my NYX Tame and Frame all the time. And to be honest, I feel like if I put the Tame and Frame and the ABH on my, like I put one in one eyebrow and the other one in another, I don't think you could tell the difference. I think they have a really, really similar formula. The only thing I'm gonna say is that the, AB, the ABH one is a little bit more buttery. It's a little bit easier to work with, but for the drug drugstore makeup, the NYX Brow Pomade is awesome. And I am in the color Brunette for the brow team of frame from NYX. I think that the only thing, they're basically the same color. This is ABH and this is NYX. They're really similar in color. But anyway, if you want more bang, bang for your buck or more affordable, I highly recommend the Tame and Frame because it's an awesome drugstore pomade. All right, moving on to eyeshadow, my favorite part of doing my makeup. Um, so when I was going through all my palettes, when I was doing this video, I already knew my drugstore one or my more affordable one. I guess you can get a BH at Ulta. But anyway, when I was thinking about my high-end palette, at first, I was gonna talk about the Modern Renaissance palette because it's the one that I reach for the most. I've used this so many times. You could tell that I've used it so many times. It is a holy grail in my book. I love this palette, but I'm gonna say my 2008-17 holy grail 
has to be my prism palette. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because, do you see all these colors? When I first saw these colors, I was like, what am I gonna do with all that? I don't understand what you want me to do. I don't see anything that matches. I don't see anything that I can create a look with. But if you've been here at my channel watching my videos, you see that I've created three looks using this certain palette. And just on a regular occasions, I always reach for this palette because I think it has the most combinations for different looks than any other palette that I have. And I love it. So that's why my Prism palette is my holy grail of 2018. My modern renaissance might be my holy grail of life, but I'm gonna just stick to this one for 2017. And I don't have the Silver Closure palette because of the reviews. All right, I already mentioned that my affordable makeup palette is from BH, so you guys already know that. Um, but it is the Carly Bible palette. This is it right here. And there's tape on it, I'm sorry. This is it right here. I don't have the Deluxe palette because I have so much makeup. I, don't, I didn't think that I really needed it, but every single time I go to Ulta and I pass it, I always think I should probably buy it because when it goes out of stock and they don't sell it anymore, I'm gonna be kicking myself. So I think that's one of the things I'm going to be purchasing in the next year. I'm going through this like makeup declutter where I don't buy any makeup for a while because I have so much. But anyway, back to the review. This is the first color Bible palette, and I'm gonna open it and you'll see why it's my Holy Grail affordable palette. Because I've used every single shade in this palette. And also, I carry it around everywhere and it broke. Anyhow, I think it for a $14 palette, I think I bought it for $12 when it first came out. There goes my earring again. I'm done with my earrings because obviously they're not staying on my ears. Um, anyhow, I bought it for $12.50 when it first came out because I love the colors. I love the fact that there's purples and bronzy colors in this. It comes with four highlights and all these eyeshadows I've dipped into. Every single one. You know, sometimes when you have an eyeshadow palette that you like don't really use some of the shades but use most of it, I find that naked palettes are always like that to me, so that's why I never buy them. Um, but this palette for $14.50, which is what it is now on the BH side, it's awesome. It's so pigmented. It's you can create so many different looks with it. You can create a mauvey purple look or a bronzy gold look or like a pinky look. Anything you want. Well, not anything, but you know what I'm saying. And the highlight highlighters are awesome. And I like the fact that it comes from light to dark. So different skin tones can use these highlighters. And even the $21 deluxe palette i think is a great buy i think sometimes bh has bh always has sales and i've seen the deluxe palette on sale before so i highly recommend it if you're looking for a really good affordable palette the bh well the whole bh line is awesome in my opinion but the carly bible palette is an essential essential palette that i have all right so for mascara my high-end mascara even though i'm gonna be completely honest I don't think that anyone needs high-end mascara. Most of the time, I buy drugstore mascara all the time. I went through a phase when I first started doing makeup where like, I needed all the high-end stuff and I would buy Dior, Dior Shore mas mascara and Buxom and I thought it was like the greatest thing ever. Honestly, I think mascara, if you can find a good drugstore mascara, you don't need a high-end mascara. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna tell you what my favorite high-end mascara is. And it is Benefit Their Real Mascara. And I think it has a lot to do with the um, the applicator. You can see it. It's like spiky and like I can really dig into my eyelashes with it. And I think that's why I really like it. Do I think that you need to go run, run out and get it right now? No, I don't. Because I think that a good drugstore mascara can do the same thing. But just for the purpose of the video, I wanted to let you guys know my favorite high-end mascara is the Benefits They're Real. All right, now for my drugstore mascara, which I will say that is my holy grail mascara out of everything. I've been using it since high school and I've never ever said anything bad about it. And 
Every single time that I try a new mascara, it never compares. So this is my holy grail mascara of all time. And that is a lot of pressure for a mascara. <laughs> anyway, I stuck up, like I already have another one. Like I think I have packets. When there's buy one, get one free, I buy them because I know that I love them and I use them all the time. I think I've gone through maybe, it has to be like 10 containers now of L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara. It's awesome. And I will say that I tried the L'Oreal Telescopic, like the blackest black t uh, mascara, and I didn't like it as much as the original Telescopic. The original Telescopic is my holy grail mascara. Right, so moving on to blush. My holy grail blush that is high-end is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes. I love this blush formula. It stays on your face and I think it's so buttery and so pretty and I've been meaning to pick up a like a peach shade in the Tarte Amazonian Clay brand. As you can tell, this is almost gone. This is more mauve -y when I'm doing something more warm um, and I want to put on like a mauve lip or something like that. I go for this type of shade, like a more of a pinky mod mauve shade but i just think that this formula is awesome and i want to pick up more blushes in this formula and for drugstore blush i will say that the reason why i bought this was because of jacqueline hill she would talk about this particular blush all the time and every single time i went to the drugstore it wasn't there and i'm pretty sure it's because she would talk about it and all her followers went and bought some and then finally I was just random. I didn't even want to buy makeup this day, and I found it, and I had to have it just because Jacqueline Hill told me to. But I'm really glad that she did because I love it, and it's so inexpensive. And that is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. As I mentioned before, I wanted to pick up the Tarte blush in a peachy shade, and that's because I really like peachy blushes. I'm wearing a plate. I'm wearing Luminoso on my cheeks today. And it's just such a pretty blush. And it goes on so buttery on your skin. And it's so inexpensive. And it's honestly a great drugstore blush. So thank you, Jacqueline Hill, for this recommendation because it's a great blush. She's probably never gonna watch this. All right, so moving on to bronzer. I just recently got this last month, but the hype, the hype was real because I hear so many people talk about this and how it's so awesome and it's so great, but I was like, it's just a bronzer. Why, why are you making such a big deal about it? But I did get this in a Sephora Perks um, bag after I got 500 points and I've been reaching for this almost every day. I use it religiously every single day and that is the Benefit Pula Bronzer. And this is just a sample size, but after using it every single day, I think that I am going to be purchasing a big container because such so, such a small amount goes a long way and it's such a pretty blush and it's great for my complexion i mean bronzer i'm sorry and it's great for my complexion and i've never had a bronzer not be glittery and blend out so smoothly on my skin because most of the time when i have a bronzer that is glittery it um blends out well on my skin but when I have one that doesn't have glitter it is kind of hard to work with it's more like a contour that I have to buff out this one I can just take a regular bronzer brush and just kind of contour slightly on the high points of my face All right, now for drugstore bronzer and this is another product by Milani and it is the baked bronzer in 04 which is a clear glow this is it right here it's a baked bronzer and it does have a tiny bit of glitter in it, but not too much where it's overwhelming. I have like, I have MAC bronzers that have a ton of glitter. And this one doesn't have that much. It has a little, but it's, it goes well on the skin. It blends very well and it's very buttery. And Milani's formula is just really, really good. I think Milani is probably one of the drugstore brands that I'm more drawn to. Um, I don't know why. I like their packaging. Um, besides that, I really do like your formula, and I think it's a great deal for the price. All right, highlight. So, as I mentioned before in my highlight review video, I said that the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop highlighter was my favorite highlighter of all time, which is 
kind of true because I've used it all and I have so many highlighters that I never thought it was possible to use one highlighter, all of it, done, done so. And I haven't picked up a new one. But lately, I've been picking up Becca, Becca's Moonstone a lot. This is it right here, Becca's Moonstone. I think it's just Becca's formula that I, that I really like. I really liked Champagne Pop because it was a pinky, more blush highlighter. And... I'm, to I'm drawing more to those kind of kinds of highlighters, but this one is peachy too, for, but more like a gold peachy, and I just think that it looks really pretty on my skin. I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can really tell, but I really, really like this um, highlight. I've been reaching for it the most, so I'm gonna say for 2017, my Becca Moonlight highlight is my fave, and for my drugstore or more affordable makeup. I guess it's drugstore because you can find it at Target um, highlight. It is my Sleek Makeup Solstice Highlighting Palette. I mentioned this also in my highlighting video. And it is $10 and you get such pretty highlights in here. Highlights that are going to pay off on your face. Not chalky, not glittery highlights. They kind of remind me of the Hourglass highlighters. I haven't tried them, but the way they're just set up, they remind me of the hourglass palettes and if you can get the, the drugstore that's awesome so this is my favorite affordable highlighting palette all right so coming towards the end of the video let's talk about lips so just because i didn't want to make this video too long i'm not going to be talking about every single type of lip product there is out there because there is a lot there's lip glosses there's lip liners there's lipsticks there's liquid lipsticks there's just so many different lip products out there and I just didn't want to touch on every single one, especially because I don't have a drugstore and a um, high-end version for all these different lip products. But I am going to be talking about the type of lip product that I use the most, which are liquid lipsticks. And I have an extensive amount of liquid lipsticks. I have high-end and drugstore. And I'm gonna be talking about my high-end liquid lipstick that is my favorite formula and that is my makeup forever matte liquid lipstick and this is the color 101 I tried out this because I got a sample of it when I got my I got I got a hundred point perk at Sephora and I just really like this color and I wanted to try it out and after I tried out this product I was like oh my god I need a big version of it because it doesn't transfer it stays on all day and it's comfortable on the lips sometimes I forget it's there and if anyone out there has trouble with liquid lipsticks they transfer they get on your teeth they, they're just a whole big mess I suggest you try out the makeup forever artist matte liquid lipsticks I really really like this formula and the only thing I don't like about it is that the shade range is not that extensive and I really wish that they had more shades so this is the one that I got for the Sephora 100 point perk it's like a mauve purpley shade. I really like it. And this is the one that I bought for myself because I wanted a nude liquid lipstick. And that's it right there. I really like it. Anyway, if anybody's looking for a good high-end liquid lipstick, the Makeup Forever ones are my favorite. All right, so now for a drugstore liquid lipstick that I really, really enjoy. And I talked about it in, in another video in my hits or misses. I said that this formula beats the MAC formula by a long shot. And that is my NYX Liquid Suede Lipsticks. Even though they do not last as long as my Makeup Forever Liquid Lipsticks, I really like this shade range in this collection. Um, it has an extensive shade range. It has so many, I want them all. I have three shades in the NYX Liquid Suede um, Liquid Lipsticks. Um, I have Tea and Cookies, which is a pinky nude. Well, it's more, more of a pink than it is a pinky nude. That's it right there. And I have a maroon shade that I can't find right now, but it is in that video where I reviewed the MAC liquid lipstick next to it and this shade is sandstorm which is like a desert brown i really like this shade this is 
probably the most unique shade, shade that I own in my collection and I just really like the formula of these lipsticks for the price. I think they're awesome. So good job, NYX. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like these kinds of videos. Let me know what you guys think. Did you like this kind of video and do you wanna try any of the products that I recommended? Or if you have tried them, do you like them? Do you not like them? I wanna hear your opinions. I like to know what other people think also. Um, so leave your comments down below, let me know. And also if anyone has a recommendation for a good high-end full coverage foundation, let me know because I still have not found my holy grail foundation. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.